We all know plastic bags are terrible pollutants, and yet for millions of us, they continue to be part of our shopping experience. Even after stores started charging for plastic bags, that only put a dent in their use. Well, today, Sobeys became the first grocery store in Canada to announce an all-out ban on plastic bags for all 255 of their stores. They say it's going to take 225 million of these out of circulation every year. It's the right thing to do for our planet. So we're taking this first step today, eliminating plastic bags from our Sobeys banner, and we'll continue on this journey to eliminate plastics. Sobeys will offer its customers paper bags for five cents, but will encourage using reusable bags. The company will also sell mesh produce bags made from water bottles as an alternative. Sobeys officials say the long-term plan will be to ban plastic bags at all of its affiliate brands, including Freshco and IGA. We have 1,500 stores across the country, and those 1,500 stores give 800 million plastic bags a year to customers. 800 million is an astonishing number. It was shocking even to us. But experts say the real problem with the use of plastics is in packaging. If you look around the Sobeys store, there are hundreds if not thousands of plastic containers. Sobeys says it's working with suppliers to come up with innovative alternatives, but it's not easy. Plastics have proliferated in our food retail environment for a reason. It increases shelf life essentially for everything we buy. Let's say you uh, harvest a cucumber in California, uh, you wrap it in a uh, plastic film, it allows the cucumber to be sold fresh for much longer. Sobey's new policy comes into effect in early 2020, but the federal government is also planning a ban on harmful single-use plastics, which will likely include bags, straws, stir sticks, plates, and cutlery. That's expected to be in place in 2021. These moves will, by design, get us all thinking more about the way we shop. It's a process for everybody. No, Nobody fell into any of this overnight. It's been a lifetime of being around plastics and being around the convenience of it. So now we have to reteach ourselves and break those habits and shop differently. Michelle Gentner and her partner have made a conscious decision not to have any single-use plastics in their store and as little packaging as possible. We'll speak to her about alternative shoppers can use later in the show. Dr. Charlebois points out that moves like eliminating plastic bags will wind up costing the consumer more. And that's a problem because a study conducted by Dalhousie in June showed that while people say they're interested in going green, they're not willing to pay for it. In fact, 83% said they would not pay one penny more for the cost of their food in order to save the planet. Earlier in the show, we told you how a major grocery chain will soon eliminate plastic bags. As people and governments move to cut plastics of all kinds out of our lives, we visited a grocery store on Dundas Street West that has no plastics whatsoever and as little packaging as possible to learn about some innovative alternatives you can use instead. One of the things you do is obviously these. Yes. Yeah, they're reusable bags. We have them. Um, again, they're not designed to generate a profit for us. They're here as an alternative for customers who forgot their um, bags, where you would usually see reams of produce bags hanging down. Yeah. They don't exist in our store. At the unboxed market, all its produce is unpackaged, so people can choose as little or as much as they want, reducing food waste for their customers. They also sell their milk and other products in jars. Your jar under and pour. If people don't bring their own containers. So all of our jars are on deposit. It's two dollars. So if you need a jar, then it was two dollars. If you don't, you wash it and you bring it back, and we'll re-sanitize it here to make sure it's actually right. washed. It goes back up on our shelves, and other people can use it. Michelle also has a hot table, which cuts down on their own food waste. But she recognizes that one of the biggest obstacles to achieving a truly eco-friendly grocery store is the plastic packaging, which is how so much food comes from the supplier. It is possible. It's just a question of scale and having a store exert the pressure on their suppliers, on their manufacturers, on their distributors, and saying that they want to see it happen differently. And ultimately, it's going to change. Michelle Gentner agrees that it is a challenge to keep prices down with their approach. She says unpackaged produce tends to be more expensive, but she and her partner feel so strongly about what they're doing, they're willing to take a hit on their own bottom line to keep their prices competitive.